Approximately 15,000 new cases of GBM are diagnosed in the United States each year. Now, GBM is the most aggressive type of malignant primary brain tumors. And joining us this morning to share his story is Ira, and he's helping to raise awareness of exactly what this disease is. And joining him here, and welcome to the show, is the physician, Dr. Tobias Walbert. Uh, hey, thanks for being with us. Let's start with the doctor. And uh, doctor, what is GBM, and how prevalent is this type of brain cancer among Americans? Thank you, Mike, for having us here this morning. So, so GBM stands for glioblastoma, and uh, glioblastoma is the most common as well as the most aggressive brain tumor. That means like a primary brain tumor that, that starts in the brain. And as you mentioned, uh, it affects about 15,000 patients, newly diagnosed patients every year here in the US. Patients typically, they present with uh, headaches. Uh, it can be weakness, it can be numbness. It, it really depends on where the tumor is affecting the brain. And um, eventually, like when we find something like that on the scan, uh, the typical treatment is, is like surgery. Uh, we trying to take out as much as possible and then followed by radiation and chemotherapy. In, in addition to the chemotherapy, there is an innovative wearable device called tumor treating fields. This is a, a, a treatment that is FDA approved and it uses a low electric field. So it works very differently than chemotherapy. And, but that's one of the advantages that it basically complements it. It's like used together with the chemotherapy and that low electric field together with the chemotherapy, it has shown to improve survival. Like we, we did a big study where uh, some patients were wearing the device and others were uh, randomized not wearing the device. And at the end of the day, patients wearing the tumor treating fields, the Optune device, they lived longer. Okay, interesting. And Ira, let's bring Ira in now. Um, Ira, can you share your personal story about being diagnosed uh, with GBM and how being treated with Optune has impacted your life? Sure. I was diagnosed the end of July in 2020. Uh, within a week, I had a craniotomy. Uh, luckily, a talented, skilled uh, surgeon was able to remove the entire tumor. Uh, it followed by six weeks daily of radiation and chemo, uh, about two months off. And then I began a regimen of six months of chemo. And at the same exact time, began wearing the Optune device. Um, I have no problem at all with it. I continue to live my life as I did before, uh, other than not being able to wear it in water, obviously. Uh, I continue to do everything I did before this. Um, it is non-invasive, um, and so it's, you know, easy to adapt to it. Uh, I continue to ski, hike, uh, snowshoe at elevation. I can work in my yard four to six hours at a time. I travel. In fact, my wife and I just returned this weekend from two weeks in Iceland where we hiked uh, to waterfalls and volcanoes. Um so it's very adaptable as long as you are willing to basically adapt to it. Um, there's no pain involved with it at all. Uh, and you just have to, you know, get yourself comfortable with it and, uh, you know, and just work it into your life and be optimistic. All right, Ira, we really appreciate you sharing your story, giving a lot of hope to so many folks out there. Um, and Dr. Walbert, uh, as we finish out here, what should people know if they are a loved one or are diagnosed with GBM? I think the most important part is, is like to seek help in the specialized centers with neuro-oncologists. And uh, if there's any questions or interest about that, uh, the tumor treating fields, uh, a lot of information can be found at optune.com. But at the end of the day, uh, you have to talk to your doctor and see that this is the right thing for you. And yeah, and as Ira said, it's all about staying optimistic and living your life at your best. 
All right, some great Thank words you. of advice for sure. Thank you both for being with us. And of course, head to our website for much more on this. And that is at firstcoastliving.net.